In this video, we will look at doing long division when we have missing terms in the problem. As we consider our division problem, we must remember that the exponents must count down. As they do, if one is missing, we must add the missing term, whether it's a 0, 0x, zero 0x zero squared, or cubed, or so on. So for example, in this problem, you notice the numerator starts with x to the 3rd power. But there is no x squared, so we will have to add in 0x squared to make sure our like terms line up properly. Now we divide x minus 4 into the 3x cubed plus 0x squared minus 50x plus 4. Now we have every fact, every term accounted for. 3, 2, 1, and 0. We begin our division, dividing 3x cubed by x to get 3x squared. Multiplying 3x squared by each of the terms will give us 3x cubed minus 12x squared. Notice our like terms line up so we can change the signs and combine. Bringing down the negative 50x, will allow us to repeat the process. Dividing 12x squared, dividing out an x, will give us plus 12x. Multiplying the 12 by each of the terms will give us 12x squared minus 48x. Again, we change the signs so we can combine to get negative 2x. Bringing down the last term, which is a 4, will set us up to finish the problem. Dividing the front terms, negative 2x, dividing out at an x, gives us negative 2. We will then multiply the negative 2 to get negative 2x plus 8. Changing the signs to positive and negative will allow us to combine, giving us negative 4 for our remainder. Let's try another example where we have a missing term and we have to add 0 to keep the equations like terms lined up. In this problem, we are again missing a term. The exponent starts at 3, counts down to 2, but there's no regular x. This means we will add 0x as we write out the problem. Dividing x plus 3 into 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 0x plus 9, so all the terms are accounted for. Now we begin our division. 2x cubed, divide out an x, gives us 2x squared. Multiplying by each term will give us 2x cubed plus 6x squared. Changing the signs will allow us to combine, giving us negative 2x squared plus 0x when we bring down the next term. Again, we will divide the front terms, giving us negative 2x when 1x is divided out. Multiplying the 2x times each of the terms will give us negative 2x squared minus 6x. Again, we change the signs, making them both positive, giving us 6x. Bring down the 9 so we can finish the problem. Dividing the front terms, 6x divided by x is 6. Multiplying the 6x by the divisor will give us 6x plus 9. Changing the signs to combine gives us 0. This one has no remainder. Oh, yes it does. I multiplied wrong here. 6x times 3 is 18. Changing the sign will give us negative 9 for a remainder.